this short video, I'm going to discuss the Liquid Droplets Protocol, which is part of the Cell Biology Protocol collection. The protocol is designed to measure the proportion of fluorescently labeled cells that contain three or more fluorescently labeled lipid droplets, such as these. First, we're going to select the count size ribbon. Then we're going to press the Protocols button. Locating the Cell Biology collection, Select the Lipid Droplets Protocol and simply press the Load button. Each protocol includes a demo image or set of images. The protocol is set up by using the associated demo image. If you are using your own image set, you may modify the protocol as needed and save it for later use. To load the demo image, simply select, select the drop down by the Reset button and press Load Demo with the Open it Demo Image active. Next, press the Sync button. Now we'll select which channel belongs to which input. For the nuclei, we'll select, select the host. Cells, we'll select sci fi. And the lipid droplets, we'll select the GIP. Once this has been set up, make sure the interactive checkbox is on, which will allow us to go step by step through the protocol and modify or confirm our settings. Press the next step button. And now we'll segment the nuclei. In this case, we're using intensity threshold which can easily be adjusted by adjusting the slider or pressing the auto threshold button. We may also use smart segmentation or machine learning if we choose to. Here, the nuclei are very well identified. And this step includes segmentation options where we may get out non-specific fluorescence or cells, which we can use the minimum area button, clean borders with choices for all and the various sides of Image frame, fill holes, these nuclei are well segmented, so we don't need to fill in any gaps. And since the nuclei are also well separated, I'm not going to use any object splitting. However, you can also use watershed or boundary shape if appropriate. As with most protocols, there is an interactive step, which means if you're running the protocol in batch mode where you're processing a multiple plate or folder of images, you need to stop at a particular step. This allows you to do that at this step and make adjustments as needed. Otherwise, the protocol continues automatically. Press the next step button. And now we're going to segment the Sci-5 channel to identify the extents of our cells. No cell will be counted if you only have Sci-5 without a nuclei channel. So in this case, you can see we can may make a little bit better adjustment of finding the cell. And there's a few choices here. One is we can, in this case, we can draw additional reference objects on the cells to identify the fluorescence. So in this case, we can come in and draw another reference object to find the nuclei. We can grow that a little bit more. We also have control over the recipe a little bit. You can see how this is kind of rounded. It's a little too smooth. What we can do is bring back the size, which is the image processing filter kernel size and smart segmentation, and get that a little bit closer to the outline of the cell. Once we're satisfied, we can press the OK button. As with smart segmentation machine learning, we can delete the reference objects and draw them again to find the cells in the background. Or if needed, we can always create a new recipe by hitting the reset button. Now that we've found the outline of the cells, press the OK button. Similar segmentation options are available in this step for minimum area, clean borders, and holes, and object splitting. Here we're just finding the extents of the cell boundaries to measure the lipid droplets in. Press the next step button. And now we need to find the lipid droplets. So in this case, for your own images, if they're not properly found, you can always come in and draw more reference objects to find the droplets in the background. And just to show an example, I can clear out the reference objects and come in and draw them again in finding the very right spots of the lipid droplets. Obviously, you go there. And then I'll draw a background where droplets do not exist. And this protocol is important in that to be considered positive for having the lipid droplets, it must include at least three. Now that I'm satisfied, I'll press the OK button. Segmentation options are available for filtering out small areas of fluorescence or large. Object splitting and fill holes are also available. Pressing the step button. The data is now all collected. Now that the analysis has been complete, 
You can look at the snapshot image and review how well the cell has been found, but more importantly, the lipid droplets within that particular cell. From a data analysis standpoint, we have a summary table recording the number of cells, cells with droplets, the average number of droplets per cell. In addition, we have the cell data, which gives us the cell area, whether it has droplets or not, what is an indication? Yes, it does. How many droplets in each cell, droplet area, and the intensity of each of the individual droplets from the GFP channel. If you've modified the protocol for your own images, you can press the Save As button, which will save a new protocol, and then you can recall that any time. Press the Finish button, and now we can analyze additional images, or if you have a folder of images or multiple plate, you can set up a batch process to analyze, analyze those images. Once done and completed, you can then export the data directly to Excel.